for the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Nathaniel Perry, and the uh, topic is the computer minorities and uh, what at one time we referred to as the digital divide. But I think, Mr. Perry, you've indicated that in a real sense, the digital divide, as we knew it uh, when the two of us first started out, mm -hmm. when at least when I first started with you, no longer exists in a real sense, but there's a different kind of uh, digital divide uh, rather right. than class now. Talk about that. Explain uh, I that. I think it's more, more of the technology being available mm -hmm. when uh, we first started working with mm -hmm. your show and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, but now it's to the point where it's more of an age thing mm -hmm. where some of the older generations are afraid to get on the, on the internet or they're afraid to do something wrong on there and mm -hmm. fear. For instance, I have uh, my mother who, uh, who just turned, uh, she's in her 70s mm -hmm. now, and she's just now getting on the uh, mm -hmm. internet. And so when she gets on there, she's afraid to start touching mm -hmm. whatever it is. She's like I was to, when I first exactly. started. <laughs> so uh, the internet divide, I think the divide, the digital divide, it becomes one of those things. Whereas uh, the age limit mm -hmm. of the person is, uh, they're having to, they're being forced into the digital mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. and it's uh, one of those things. I'm scared. I'm going to break this. This mm -hmm. isn't what I'm mm -hmm. used to. Because, you know, as, uh, as children, uh, well, the first car that came out, it was made out of all metal, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the cars that we rode in, you could fit about seven children, mm -hmm. and they were big and huge. Mm -hmm. Well, these things, they're real small. Mm -hmm. They're uh, touch screens, mm -hmm. and uh, older generation folks, sometimes they have that mentality mm -hmm. of things need to be bulky and big and, mm -hmm. and hard and heavy mm -hmm. before it becomes something that they comfortable with without mm -hmm breaking mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, we see a, a little bit of that uh, I have mother-in-law who is uh, actually getting on and I mm -hmm. in fact I have to teach her a class mm -hmm. on how to do email and uh, it becomes one of those things if you're not using it all the time then you don't retain it as much so we see a lot of uh, older generation where they'll use it for a few minutes but then after those few minutes, they'll stop using it and say, okay, I need a refresher course. Mm -hmm. How do I do this again? Mm -hmm. So we, we get um, uh, a divide from, I think, mm -hmm. where the age limits are. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a baby boomer, you, and the tail end of it, uh, those that are born like uh, maybe the early 60s, mm -hmm. then those are the ones that were in on actually ushering in the mm. computer age. age okay but the ones that are after that you know earlier maybe mm. in the early 50s or mid 50s mm -hmm. uh, they're learning how to get into it mm -hmm. now so it becomes one of those things uh, I think where the age limits of um, mm -hmm. of uh, using the data mm -hmm. using the information becomes uh, the divide now well, now, what would be your advice to uh, an older person in reference to that now, uh, in reference to how they might be able to overcome this, this fear in a real sense of, of the computer, which is to say that most people, I would imagine, that uh, believe that if they do something, they're going to lose the results of all of that they've done up to that point and excel right. without... Uh, well, the thing is, it's not where uh, you're going to lose anything. Mm -hmm. You can always recover whatever you have. Uh, the computer comes with a recovery disk. Mm -hmm. So anything you do to it, short of uh, hitting it with a hammer mm -hmm. or dropping mm -hmm. it off a desk table, mm -hmm. uh, you can recover from it. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the computers, they come, uh, people get on the internet and they come with viruses and viruses mm -hmm. uh, destroy a lot of data, but even that can be recovered. Mm -hmm. Uh, you just wipe your machine clean and then reinstall your information and then you have your mm -hmm. computer back. So it's not a matter of being afraid of what you're doing, mm -hmm. it's just repetition. Mm -hmm. Repetition what, always mm -hmm. helps you uh, mm -hmm. remember the last thing that you did, mm -hmm. uh, helps you in uh, using the computer so that, because uh, that familiarity mm -hmm. is uh, what builds your confidence mm -hmm. in using the computer. So, and so the more you repeat a process, of exactly. a step, the, the easier you are to understand it, mm -hmm. and the more it becomes ingrained as part of you. But right. if you do it only occasionally, the next time you do it, you still might have some idea exactly. as to how it's done, mm -hmm. but you're not able to do it exactly. exactly. But, so repetition is the most important thing you would believe right. in terms of... And, and as with anything that you do, uh, whether you've you started working a business and uh, you know what you're going to do on your business that next day. 
uh, if you continue to do it over and over, then you know mm -hmm. what you got to do. That's mm -hmm. your routine. Mm -hmm. But if you don't get on the computer one day, mm -hmm. two days, three days, mm -hmm. that fourth day is going to be harder and harder mm -hmm. for you to remember mm -hmm. what you did the last time. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a matter of just keep pushing at it and, mm -hmm. and getting used to it mm -hmm. and working on it. Now, it does take up a lot of time. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. You get to working. Uh, it, it, sometimes I start working on a project and I look up and, and three hours have gone by and I'm supposed mm -hmm. to be with the family or mm -hmm. something. So mm -hmm. it does take up time and you want to be cautious of that. Uh, maybe give yourself an hour or two, especially for young kids. You don't want to give them so much time in a day working on a computer mm -hmm. and then we have all these health issues mm -hmm. because of they're not outside Side playing. playing it. So, uh -huh. so we want to make sure that uh, uh, we're aware of those issues, mm -hmm. uh, especially for children mm -hmm. and for grown-ups. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't sit in front of a computer all the time and knowing that our metabolism has slowed down mm -hmm. so much that we need to get up and do some walking around mm -hmm. and exercise. So, so in a real sense, that's just almost as important as working on the computer it is. itself. It really is. One of the, mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you get yourself a chair that, that swivels mm -hmm. and do some of those exercises that mm -hmm. turn around in your chair to, mm -hmm. to help you keep your waist in mm -hmm. shape or something. But mm -hmm. uh, you do have to get up and walk around. Uh, your eyes start to go out and uh, you mm -hmm. have to get away from that screen and make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Uh, it's mm -hmm. very important. And then um, starting businesses, uh, businesses and uh, social networks, mm -hmm. uh, they're all so prevalent now that uh, it can take up so much time mm -hmm. away from you that you have to be aware mm -hmm. uh, of making sure you take care of yourself mm -hmm. instead of uh, sitting in front of the screen all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of the experiences that many, many people have, yeah. and, and I'm sure that you have, you've had those experiences, mm -hmm. and I've had, had them, and we have to be mindful of the fact that uh, you just can't continue to sit there forever, yeah. you see, and, and you might be able to repeat a lot of things, mm -hmm. but it's at the expense of uh, the inability to do a lot of other things exactly. that, you, that you have got to do. Got to take care of the house, house. got to take care of the family, everything. Mm -hmm. So you just want to be aware and, and maybe give yourself an hour or two to, mm -hmm. to do whatever you have to do and then come mm -hmm. back later sometime mm -hmm. to do it. Uh, there are other things that, you know, we look at. Sort of, I saw a report the mm -hmm. other day uh, that talked about how Google Mm. Well, what? I tell you, let's, let's hold it. We're getting ready okay. for our first, uh, second commercial break, okay. and then we want to come back and to deal with that because I, I understand some good information is coming. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break.